This video covers trunks and route groups in WebEx crawling. First, we will review the concepts of trunks and route groups in WebEx crawling. Then we will look into trunk and route groups creation. And then we will take a look at where trunks and route groups are used in ControlUp. Trunks and route groups in WebEx crawling are used to link WebEx crawling to either on-premises call controls or to existing on-premises PSTN connections. Trunks from WebEx Calling terminate on an on-premises local gateway running on Cube. A trunk has to be assigned to a location. It's important to note that for a trunk to be fully operational, the main number of that location has to be set. Route groups deliver scale and redundancy for trunks. Up to 10 trunks can be grouped together in a route group. Each trunk in a route group has a priority and calls to a route group are distributed randomly to trunks of the same priority, starting with one as the top priority. Fallback to the next priority only occurs if all trunks of higher priority are unavailable. The picture shows an example where calls to the US East route group would primarily be distributed to New York trunk A and B and trunks DFW, A and B are used as fallback if all primary New York A and B trunks are unavailable. To create a trunk, I navigate to the calling section and there select the call routing tab where I find the trunks page. As you can see here, we already have two trunks in this setup. To create a new trunk, I click on add trunk and then I only have to select the location the trunk should reside in and then define a name for the new trunk. After hitting save, the trunk gets created and I get to a screen which shows the information of the new trunk. This information is required to configure the local gateway connection to this trunk. You need to make sure to take note of the username and password, which are used as the digest credentials when configuring the trunk. These credentials are only displayed once for security reasons. If you lose these credentials, then it's possible to create a new set of credentials with a new password, and I will show that option later in this video. But for security reasons, there's no way to obtain the same set of credentials later again. The note at the top refers the administrator to the route groups, locations, and dial plan pages where trunks can be used. I now want to create a route group, which I want to use as a PSTN for my Hartford location later. To create a route group, I navigate to the route group page in the call routing area and there select the option to create a route group. On the next dialog, I then define a name for my route group and then select the first trunk to be added to the route group from the dropdown. In this example here, I add two trunks, Hartford primary and secondary, both with the same priority so that calls are randomly distributed to these two trunks. And then at lower priorities, I also add the Frisco and SJC trunk. As you can see, the trunks within the route group are displayed in order from highest to lowest priority. I then click Save to finish route group creation. To assign a route group as premises PSTN choice for a location, I select the location from the list of locations and then select the option to manage the premises PSTN choice of that location. The routing choice dropdown allows me to select any of the existing trunks or route groups. In this case, I select the route group I just created. I then have to confirm that the change will take immediate effect. You need to make sure that especially porting of numbers, if needed, has to be completed before you update the PSTN selection. Notice that below the PSTN choice dropdown, we can now see which trunks are part of the route group that is selected. To find out where existing trunks and route groups are used in this setup, I can select a trunk or route group and then these details are shown on the right. I can see in which route groups a trunk is used, for which locations a trunk is used as PSTN connection directly, 
which dial plans use the trunk as destination and for which locations the trunk is used as a routing destination for calls to unknown extensions. Now, I want to quickly show you where trunks and route groups are used in WebEx crawling. I already demonstrated where to configure a trunk or route group as PSTN choice for a location. In the location details in the internal dialing settings, when enabling routing of unknown extensions to on-premises, also a trunk or route group has to be configured for these calls. The last use case for trunks and route groups is as destination on dial plans. This is configured in the call routing dial plans page where the trunk or route group is configured as destination on the selected dial plan. The digest credentials of a trunk can be recreated from the trunk details view by selecting manage in the details section. Take note of the warning above the retrieve username and reset password option. Basically, as soon as a new set of credentials is created, the old set of credentials becomes invalid and thus connectivity will be interrupted until the local gateway configuration is updated with a new set of credentials. Before actually creating a new password, another warning message is displayed, which has to be acknowledged. Make sure to copy the new username and password from the authentication information window and save them. Further information on this topic can be found on help.webex.com at the location shown on this slide. Thanks for watching.